hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video we will talk about the latest release of the linux mint that is the linux mint 21.2 victoria although it is a point release but the changes are huge yes always linux mint comes up with a uh, huge changes a lot of changes and this uh, and this update is also like that okay so first of all uh, i would uh, like to show you guys that what are the themes changes the major changes are in the themes and icons and i'm showing you guys so for that you have to go to the system settings and these are the themes and you can see this is the redesigned setting okay and this is called simplified setting also you can go to the advanced setting for the for the for the previous look right but this setting is really good now the i the now the uh, name of the icons has been changed okay so you can see this is the mint y theme and one is mint x theme and this is the mint l that is the mint legacy theme okay so all are now well categorized and also now in the appearance in the mixed dark and light mode you are getting and also all the accent colors you can see here now i'm opening up the file manager and i'm showing you guys that uh, how it works well this is the uh, one icon theme you can see now the accent colors now here are the two accent color that is the uh, all the things will be uh, of the this color sky color and the icons will be uh, yellow i'm just clicking and you can see the icons are yellow and and here is the another color okay in the left side you can see right and if you click here so accent color and you can see that's that's amazing that's amazing looking accent colors right and also now in the tool tips you are also getting the accent color so you can see the tool tips are looks really amazing now yes and you can see the tool tips are now with the accent colors so that's a major change okay and suppose i am going to the dark mode and you can see all things turns dark and this is the light mode and very quick very quick change you can see and this is the mixed mode okay so the panel will be dark and all the file all the applications will be in white so that's really amazing and also you can download uh, uh, extra uh, themes and now uh, this is the this is the major change because in the previous release that is the 21.1 uh, we had uh, something something strip okay some colorful strips and but uh, but the rest of the icon was uh, yellow but this now has been changed and i think it's a really good decision okay because it's look really well all right now the second thing i want to talk about that the gestures yes if you are using a laptop so the touchpad gestures you will get in the linux mint and these are the settings so you can see swipe with three fingers and swipe with four fingers and the swipe left and right and up and down you have multiple options okay so i have set up uh, some options and the all options you can see here so switching the workspaces minimize or maximize windows closing windows and uh, the tile down and up and and volume up and down so various things you can do with the gestures okay so i have set up some tiling okay so i'm just showing you guys that how it works so i'm just with the three fingers uh, uh, and, and the left swipe and you can see the left tile okay and then right so it comes with the, in the middle and then the right so it is the right tiling so i think the tiling has pretty much improved and very quick with these touch gestures okay so these touch gestures are not like the uh, gnome but uh, it is useful and i think it will uh, it will be improved more okay in the future right so these uh, these are really good and also pinch with two fingers so you can enable uh, something right so a lot of settings you, you will see okay in also in the gnome uh, a lot of settings are not there okay but the linux mint provides you a lot of settings right so pinch with three finger four fingers so for everything uh, you can set up uh, something that what uh, you should do with the uh, gestures so that's that's i think amazing thing and also some wallpapers uh, it has added you can see uh, 
these are the victoria wallpapers these all are new wallpapers okay and i have also applied one of it so the wallpaper collection is really good now another thing is the uh, software uh, manager so if you open the software manager so it is now uh, redesigned and has a ui if uh, refresh uh, with this version and uh, also now it will show the flat packs as the featured applications okay so now flat packs are also introduced uh, in the recommendation you can see this is the featured so this is the uh, flat pack application and also some native applications are there you can see uh, this this is the flat pack mentioned here and also now uh, you can you can see a lot of things here also these are the top rated okay and uh, suppose i'm going to uh, suppose i'm going to the office section so you will get all the office stuffs and suppose i'm going to licks and here you, you you will get reviews and the size of the download size and all that okay so you can see uh, many things here and uh, suppose if you have a sub menu suppose uh, internet then you have some sub menu okay so web email chat file sharing okay so so this is the software manager that is this is the uh, uh, mint install you can see and it really good because it uh, doesn't crash at all and also the loading of the icons and the and the and the information are very quick now talking about some other improvements and here is the uh, new features in the linux mint uh, release notes and you can see now the select key touch that is you will get a multiple uh, multiple keyboard layouts at the login screen and also the on screen keyboard is now customizable or configurable right and also you are getting a password uh, revealer in the login screen and also i told about uh, this software maker now the pix this pix has uh, many improvements and it is now rebased on the gthumb 3.12.2 and many things are uh, new here in the gthumb you can read all these things so th that's a huge update and look and feel i told uh, earlier all the icons and that and also tooltips will now get the accent colors and now title bars are also uh, realigned you if you uh, uh, finally okay look at this and also some mono icons uh, these things some slight changes are there xdg desktop portal and the cinnamon 5.8 okay so this is the uh, desktop environment version here and uh, i told about these things and gesture supports uh, are new here and the warpinator warpinator actually uh, uh, is a software the, through which you can uh, share the big files uh, through a local area network where, with wi-fi or lan connection and other improvements are here and at work improvements now uh, you can see uh, that uh, the linux mint is actually uh, running on the kernel 5.15 but uh, currently you know that linux 6.4 kernel has been released okay so it is it is something older kernel okay but i will show you guys how you can install some newer kernel in the linux mint right and the lts strategy uh, basically uh, until 2027 you will get all the security updates and until 2024 the future version will have the same package base as this victoria okay and no uh, new uh, base will be uh, uh, started until 2024 okay now uh, and also uh, in the uh, now some known issues are there in the in the release notes so you can read you may face these type of problems may face it is not necessarily that you will uh, face problem okay so and how to solve it uh, and all the instructions are here okay i will put the links in the description for all these things okay now uh, how you can upgrade the linux mint if suppose you have linux mint 21 or 21.1 21 and uh, you want to upgrade to the victoria edition so how uh, you can do that so you have to basically open up the update manager okay this is the tool this is amazing tool and you have to go to the edit and here the option will come to update uh, to the uh, latest version of the linux mint and from here you can update it and also if you want to uh, use the uh, some something latest kernel so you can see in the view tab you have the linux kernels so just click here 
and it is the warning that a new kernel may uh, create some problems okay but uh, in maximum cases new kernel actually uh, uh, comes with the most supportive mode uh, support for the hardware and all that okay but uh, these things may happen but no problem you have the recovery mode or advanced mode in the uh, boot menu of the grub so you can load the old kernel so no problem with that uh, okay so continue and uh, you can see uh, three kernels are available okay so 5.15 this is the latest kernel 5.19 is available and the latest 6.2 kernel is available which is supported until february 2024 okay so whatever kernel you can use from here right you can see and also remove kernel if you want to remove some kernel so you can do it from here also so that's the kernel management uh, from the linux mint okay so uh, that's all for today's video and that's all for today i have so if you like this video hit the like button subscribe my channel hit the notification bell icon so that you will get uh, more videos uh, some interesting videos i will upload very soon okay so thanks for watching guys so see you in the next video very soon till then take care and goodbye